Can we stand, please? Place your cell phones. I don't silence, quiver. You're not to be heard. I see that's morning. Let go, step aside. I want to bless the Holy Christ. You proceed slowly because as we go forward I'll be reading. Okay, so slowly I'll tell you when to stop. A very pleasant good morning, my brothers and sisters in Christ. With faith in Jesus Christ. We received the body of our brother, Joy Edmund William Gifford, for burial. Our brother was washed in holy baptism and anointed with the Holy Spirit. Let us therefore with confidence pray to God our Heavenly Father, the giver of life, that he would raise him to perfection in the company of the saints the lord be with you let us pray O oh god of grace and glory we remember before you today our brother joy we thank you for giving him to us his family and friends to know and love as a companion on our earthly pilgrimage in your boundless compassion console those who mourn give them faith to see in death the gate of eternal life so that in quiet confidence they may continue their course on earth until by your call they are reunited with those who have gone before through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Jesus said, I am the resurrection and I am the life. He who believes in me though he die, yet shall he live. And whoever lives and believes in me shall never die. The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. 
His compassion never fails. Every morning they are renewed. Jesus said, let not your hearts be troubled. Believe in God. Believe also in me. I am sure that neither death nor life nor angels nor principalities nor powers nor things present nor things to come nor height nor depth nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus our Lord if we live we live to the Lord and if we die we die to the Lord so then whether we live or whether we die we are the Lord's for to this end Christ died and lived again that he might be Lord both of the dead and the living we brought nothing into the world and we take nothing out the Lord gives and the Lord takes away blessed be the name of the Lord the eternal God is our refuge and underneath are the everlasting arms. Lesson, good morning again, my brothers and sisters in Christ. Please be seated for the eulogy. Good morning, everyone. What an occasion to gather. Before I start, I just wanted to say something really simply that dad was uh, more so about celebrating life. So please be as light of heart as you possibly can be, even though he meant so much to all of us. Let me see if I can adjust this. Are you able to hear me better now? Wonderful. So I was just saying that dad was more about celebrating life and about being light of heart. So even though he meant so much to all of us gathered here today, I want you to keep that lightness of spirit as much as possible so that we remember the vibrance and joy of his life. So once again, good morning, everyone. I see so many faces here today. And of those faces, there are those that are very well familiar as well as those whom I haven't seen in a long time and some new faces thank you all for coming out today and for anyone viewing online thank you for lending your presence to all the points of light and of love who have gathered for this purpose, 
of celebrating my father. For those whom I haven't met or for whom it's been a long time since we've crossed paths, I'm Dexter Giffard, the youngest man, the youngest son, sorry, of the man for whom we've gathered here to honor, to remember, to pay our respects, to celebrate. We all have different philosophies of life. And this finds expression in the way we move through the world, the way we live our days, and how we noticeably present ourselves to others. My father's way of moving through the world, his philosophy, whether consciously acknowledged or not, was encapsulated in the moments after his birth, when the names Joy, William, Esmond, Giffard were imprinted onto his birth certificate. Joy Giffard was born on July 6, 1942, in the south of Trinidad. And in the years ahead, he would add much of his namesake quality, joy, to the lives of others. Born to Raleigh and Roslyn, Joy was raised by his dad and stepmom Edna, whom he lovingly knew as Mommy. Sibling to Errol, Esmond, Edna, Jean, and Erilyn, Dad grew up with the blessings of a large nuclear family. To see him with his siblings through the years was to enjoy those moments of playful jabs and to hear countless stories of shared memories and times that left indelible impressions. I wish I could write a tribute that could capture the scale of the meaning that Joy's presence held in the lives of his loved ones. Something epic, perhaps. Except that to know Joy Giffard was to know a man with the simplest of desires, to live a life of meaning dedicated to his family and to his faith one where material needs were not primary, but could be appreciated for the utility they provided. Dad liked to have fun and to be funny. If there was an opportunity to tell a joke, he usually took it. I'm sure each of us can recall some moment when Joy made us chuckle or laugh out loud. He had a strong sense of tongue-in-cheek and knew how to cleverly nuance his words. For example, when he was younger and going somewhere and didn't want to tell his mommy exactly where, he would say, Mommy, I'm going to... She'd reply, what was that, Joy? Mommy, I'm going to... She'd say, oh, okay, Joy, while smiling and shaking her head. This was quintessential joy. Dad was disciplined and worked hard. As his siblings could recall, he would study and work long hours. I recall those long hours, too remembering times when dad would leave home in the north of Trinidad bright and early to make the trip to the office in central Trinidad where he would work those long hours often including overtime during the budget season all this to make sure he and mom were able to provide well for my brother Kevin and me and provide well he and mom did putting both of their kids through college overseas, allowing us to experience new ways of seeing and knowing the world. In spite of the long hours working hard, Dad often made time to play tennis with us, take me to badminton practice, and Kevin to cricket practice. I'll never forget our family trip to Europe. 
we saw so much together, including our first snow. These were all things we did together as a family. Through the years, and even more so after he retired, dad and mom were inseparable. When you saw one, you more often than not saw the other. With time, dad's faith only strengthened and he and mom were active participants in the church, meeting so many other practitioners of their faith along the way. Dad was happy to lend his time in support of the church and its operations. It was indicative of his willingness to give what he could in loving support of others. Kindness and gentility were hallmarks of Dad. He was consistent and dependable, always following through on his word. Dad did his best to do what he believed to be right. He made every effort to make thoughtful choices and be respectful of others. He was warm and welcoming, always willing to let someone know they could be at ease in his presence. And while no man or person is perfect, Dad was ultimately all that we needed him to be. He turned up giving the best of who he was and the best he had to offer at all times. He was dependable and sincere. In simple words, he was a good man. While we all wish we could have more time with Dad, join you when we are called to move on from this life, we must answer and be on our way. For this reason, I know, Kevin knows, his loving wife, our mom, Gemma knows, his grandson, Nivan knows, that our beloved Joy is securely in place where he belongs with the creator of all things. We are grateful for the time granted with him and can all be at peace in the knowledge of the continuation of his eternal presence in spirit. Thank you again for being here with us today. May God bless you all. Amen. Can we stand, please? And if you are in possession of a book of common prayer, they will put there for your use. We are on page 363. Three, six, three. Your response is in heavy type. The confession would be followed by an absolution. In the midst of life, we are in death. From whom can we seek help? From you alone, O Lord, who by our sins are justly angered. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy immortal one, have mercy upon us. Lord, you know the secrets of our hearts. Shut not your ears to our prayers, but spare us, O Lord. Holy God, holy and mighty, Holy Immortal One, have mercy upon us. O worthy and eternal Judge, 
do not let the pains of death turn us away from you at our last hour holy god Almighty God, have mercy upon you. Pardon and deliver you from all your sins. Confirm and strengthen you in all goodness. And keep us in life eternal through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. How great thou art. He may share 
and the eternal victory of Jesus Christ, O oh Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Please be seated for the ministry of the word, the first lesson. A reading from the book of Isaiah, verses, chapter 25, verses 6 through 9. On the mountain, the Lord of hosts will make for all people a feast of rich, of rich food, a feast of well-aged wines, of rich food filled with marrow, of well-aged wines strained clear. And he will destroy on this mountain the shroud that is cast over all peoples, the sheet that is spread over all nations. He will swallow up death forever. Then the Lord God will wipe away the tears from all faces, and the disgrace of his people he will take away from all the earth, for the Lord has spoken. It will be said on that day, Lo, this is our God. We have waited for him, so that he might save us. This is the Lord for whom we have waited. Let us be glad and rejoice in his salvation. The word of the Lord. Thanks. Thank you, Captain. You remain seated as we sing Psalm 23. A reading from the second letter of Paul to the Corinthians. We do not lose heart, even though 
our outer nature is wasting away. Our inner nature is being renewed day by day. For this slight momentary affliction is preparing us for an eternal weight of glory beyond all measure. Because we look not at what can be seen, but at what cannot be seen. For what can be seen is temporary, but what cannot be seen is eternal. For we know that if the earthly tent we live in is destroyed, we have a building from God, a house not made with hands, eternal in the heavens. For in this tent we groan, longing to be clothed with our heavenly dwelling, if indeed when we have taken it off, we will not be found naked. For while we are still in this tent, we groan under our burden, because we wish not to be unclothed, but to be further clothed, so that what is mortal may be swallowed up by life. He who has prepared us for this th very thing is God, who has given us the spirit as a guarantee. So we are always confident, even though we know that while we are at home in the body, we are away from the Lord. For we walk by faith, not by sight. Yes, we do have confidence, and we would rather be away from the body and at home with the Lord. So whether we are at home or away, we make it our aim to please Him. The word of the Lord. All I ask of you is forever to remember me. You remain seated during the singing of that hymn until the last stanza. You stand for the last stanza and you remain standing while I proclaim the gospel. You remain standing while I proclaim the gospel.
save you. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to John. said to Jesus Lord if you had been here my brother would not have died but even now I know that God will give you whatever you ask of him Jesus said to Martha your brother will rise again Martha said to him, I know that he will rise again in the resurrection on the last day. Jesus said to Martha, I am the resurrection and the life. Those who believe in me, even though they die, will live and whoever lives and believes in me will never die do you believe this martha said to jesus yes lord i believe that you are the messiah the son of god the one coming into the world the gospel of Christ yes Lord I believe you are the Messiah in the name of the Father the Son and the Holy Spirit Amen Please be seated. To me, what a wonderful time to die. We can subtract parts of the whole scenario, like his torture, his, tormented, his torments, his crucifixion but his resurrection is a glorious time when we proclaim our faith our belief in the master yesterday the sermon was about doubting Thomas Thomas one of his followers could not take it in that he rose from the dead and so he doubted the bottom line a life and living whether we choose to believe it or not all we have all we will ever want is Jesus at the resurrection voices were uttered about the empty tomb if you do not believe in the master we are like empty tombs with nothing to give nothing to understand nothing to pursue a lot of women I see around here I wonder how many of you would be honest as a young child helping in the kitchen how many of you made bread without the yeast or without the baking soda I know I did and what happened to that bread? 
it did not rise it remained flat it was not enjoyable it was not tasty I had a dad who would eat anything I made he said because Elvis you made it that yeast in our life today is Jesus Christ he is the one that gives substance and color and flavor to our lives without him life would be bland it would be boring we won't get anywhere I wonder who gave you a new day who gave me a new day same person and he, de he just didn't give us a day you know he filled that day with first and foremost love having filled the day with love he filled it with gifts I put it this way he prepares a picnic basket for the day for us so we can choose what we want everything that is needed by us is in that picnic basket and he delivers I was saying to Kevin this morning when I met him the God he and I and I trust most of you here serve never made a mistake he was always right he was always at the correct time the correct place for the correct occasion and we give ourselves extra work like Thomas worrying doubting all the ifs possible do you know who created you and when your creation took place your plan for life was laid out orderly for you just for you and me to execute you see he gave us choice sometimes I wonder if it's the correct thing he did but he didn't want robots to serve him he didn't want robots just to do as he said that plan was well laid out and as we grow and as we mature and as our parents did with us at a tender age they taught us who he is even though you did not quite understood your spirits were laced with the blood of the lamb the lamb walked with you the lamb talked to you the lamb provided for you the lamb sustained you the lamb, the lamb prevented you from danger so many times we beat our chest and feel his I it's not you we are nothing but for the love of Christ because he loves he will take us the next step and the next mile because he loves should we stumble he'll catch so we will not fall the lamb went further as innocent as he was he went to the cross and died for us so that our lives our journey our earthly journey will be one deserving of his love his peace that he gives so many times we fail to realize the goodness of the master 
but he understands he knows us he knows you by name and number he knows even your thoughts before they are expressed and that's love unconditionally not only does he know he services in the eulogy it was expressed of mr gifford joy he gave the best of what he had i wrote those words and i underlined those words because our master gave us the best and we in turn whatever we do is not for him should give our best our best can only happen when we learn to put yeast into flour so that the flour can blossom and that the meal would be tasteful that can only happen when we are not like Thomas Doughton that can only happen when we acknowledge his presence when we learn to be obedient as Jesus was going to the cross and you know what he asks so little of us he doesn't want our money all who pretty pretty you don't want your good looks you don't want the way you dress he doesn't want your big house and your beautiful car he asks that we return his love that we return his love to those who are around us and uh, qualities of mr gifford were pointed out because there was love his son could have explained he was kind he was humble he matured in the faith because he literally fed on the bible when will your day come when will my day come none of us know but like any good scout we must be prepared for that day and it does not happen overnight i have a funeral to do on thursday the guy was in church sunday the guy communed chatted interfaced with us that sunday palm sunday a day he requested to be here should i continue the story to tell you what happened monday, monday morning i think you're smart enough to guess the timeline has been set for each of us at birth our days have been numbered and i go again he gives us choice what do you think jesus wants from you and me this moment he wants us to recognize first and foremost that one day we will be where joy is when and how that's not important but one day we all will be where he is now and he gives us that space and time to prepare ourselves our Christmas is coming do you wait for the last minute to decorate 
to prepare. No, we take it in advance. A month or two in advance. So when that day comes, everything would be in place. As I began, what a beautiful time to die. When he delivered peace, when he delivered joy, when he delivers new life, because the old life is not worth anything. The new life, the walk with Christ, is what counts. As I said, any good scout, be prepared that one day we too will find ourselves where joy is. And you may ask, how do I prepare? Being in church for long periods at times wouldn't always help. Being at church every day, reading your Bible every second of the day, will not help. The answer to that question is having a relationship with the master he who formed and fashioned he who planned our lives he who guided our steps along the way papa knows what is best and papa delivers always what is best like joy he gives the best and he knows that we are humans and we fall short but he would like to see some acknowledgement of love and as we grow and mature understanding and he gives each and every one of us what he gave his 11 disciples that first day in the upper room peace acquire that peace that will only come that peace comes only when there is a relationship with the master when we have a relationship with the master our focus is on him we learn to hear we learn to obey my days the Lord has a way of doing his thing I put it he may take you wrong and wrong the wrong about to bring you where he wants you but wherever he wants you wherever you land with the master would be a good place and as we continue our life's journey, may we continue to walk with him, to bond with him. For when we do, the fruits of your labor, of your striving, of your challenges will only be tasty. My dears, Gemma and her family, as I said to Kevin this morning, the Lord knows. There is nothing he doesn't know. He knows what will happen to all of us in the next hour, next two hours, next day, next year, years to come. He knows. He misses out on nothing. And as I said to Kevin this morning, he has never made a mistake. Yes, there's mourn. Yes, cry. Cry your eyes red is the love. But cry knowing. He who created. 
he who has guided us to this point he who serves will always serve the best dish to support us you have a role to play in Gemma and Kevin and Dexter's life you have a role to play you have choices that you can make you can call just to find out if they're all right not no juiciness you can pray out loud secretly because he knows our secret thoughts but just remember them as they go through this journey that they be comforted at the loss of joy that they will find hope each day when the master opens their eyes and may you who are delivering on that side as you serve make sure or i should say not make sure but know that you too as you serve others you will be served and when you connect with the master the meal will always be a tasty one blessings on the Gifford family on your reflections and know that he will not leave you like the master but from time to time he will whisper articles and actions that will make you step closer to where he has gone enjoy each day the master gives us a day not to make people miserable enjoy each day knowing who walks with you who talks with you who has your best interest at heart in the name of the father the son and the holy spirit amen kindly stand for the Apostles Creed and the intercession Hear us, Lord. You wipe the grave of Lazarus, your friend. Comfort us in our sorrow. Hear us, Lord. You raise the dead to life. Raise our brother's joy to the life. 
care us, Lord. Care us, Lord. Our brother Joy was washed in baptism and anointed with the Holy Spirit. Let them in fellowship with all your saints. Care us, Lord. Joy is nourished with your body and blood. Grant them a place and a table in your heavenly kingdom. Care us, Lord. Lord Jesus Christ, we commend to you our brother Joy, who was reborn by water and the Spirit in holy baptism. Grant that his death may recall to us your victory over death and be the occasion for us to renew our trust in your Father's love. Give us, we pray, the faith to follow where you have led the way and where you live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit to ages of ages. Amen. And St. Crispin Parish, extend heartfelt sympathy to the family of the Giffords. Please be seated. Offertory hymn. How great. I do have no book.
this bread and wine to offer the fruit of the earth and the work of human hands they will become our spiritual food all things come from you O lord and of your own do we give you blessed be god forever amen you may stand you may kneel you may sit your choice the lord be with you page 126 lift up your hearts let us give thanks to the lord our god it is right and a good and joyful thing always and everywhere to give you thanks father almighty everlasting god through jesus christ our lord who rose victorious from the dead and comforts us in the blessed hope of life eternal for to their faithful people O lord life is changed not ended and when our mortal body lies in death there is prepared for us a dwelling place eternal in the heavens therefore we praise you joining our voices with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven who forever sing this hymn to proclaim the glory of your name holy 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 lord god of power and might heaven and earth are full of your glory hosanna in the highest blessed is he who comes in the name of the lord Hosanna in the highest. I'm using Eucharistic prayer form E, page 142. Sovereign Lord and Father, to you be glory and praise forever. In your boundless wisdom, you brought creation into being. In your great love, you fashioned us in your image. In your tender compassion, you sent your Son, Jesus Christ, our Savior to share our human nature in the power of the holy spirit you overcame the power of sin and death and brought your people to new birth as first fruits of your new creation on the night he was betrayed he took bread and when he had given thanks to you he broke it and gave it to his disciples and said take this and eat it this is my body which is given for you do this in remembrance of me and after supper he took the cup of wine and when he had given thanks he gave it to them and said drink this all of you this is my blood of the new covenant which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins whenever you drink it do this for the remembrance of me Therefore, Father, according to the command of your dearly beloved Son, we remember his death, we proclaim his resurrection, we await his coming in glory, and we offer you, Father, our sacrifice of thanks and praise. Send your Holy Spirit on these gifts of bread and wine, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, Jesus, our Lord and Redeemer, as we partake of this holy food of new and unending life may your holy spirit establish us as a royal priesthood with the blessed virgin mary saint crispin joy and all your sons and daughters who share in your eternal inheritance through jesus christ our lord with him and in him and through him by the power of your Holy Spirit, 
We worship you, Father Almighty, with all who stand before you in earth and heaven in songs of everlasting praise. As our Savior has taught us to pray, our Father in heaven, Page 145, the second form. God of promise, you have prepared a banquet for us. Page 147, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. The gifts of God for the people of God. You are invited to receive the Lord's body and blood. body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Savior, Jesus Christ. The body and blood of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. The body and blood of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Body and blood of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Take it. Mm -hmm. The body and blood of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Take it. Take it. Have it now. Yeah. We don't do that No. Well, we do it here. body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Eat it here. Okay. The body and blood 
of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Who is that? The body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Have it here. To be the body of the Lord in this world, to have His Spirit coursing through my soul, to know the passion of my and His love for every man in the shadow. Okay. Communion prayer. The Lord be with you. Three seven one. The Lord, Almighty God, we thank you that in your great love you have fed us with the spiritual food and drink of the body and blood of your Son Jesus Christ and have given us a foretaste of your heavenly banquet. Grant that this sacrament may be to us 
comfort in affliction, and the pledge of our inheritance. Neither sorrow nor crying, but the fullness of joy with all your sins. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Kindly stand. Page three hundred and seventy two. Three seven two. Give rest, O Christ, to your servant with your saints. You only are immortal, the creator and maker of mankind. Formed of the earth, and to earth you shall return. For so did you ordain when you created me, saying you are dust, and to dust you shall return. All of us go down to the dust. Yet even at the grave we make our song. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Let us commend our brother Joy Edmund William Gifford to the mercy of God, our maker and redeemer. Deliver your servant joy, O sovereign Lord Christ, from all evil, and set him free from every bond, that he may rest with all your saints in the eternal habitation. We are with the Father and the Holy Spirit. You live and reign, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Page 381, 381. I heard a voice from heaven saying, write this. Happy are the dead who die in the faith of Christ. Henceforth, says the Spirit, they may rest from their labors, for they take with them a record of their deed. Man born of a woman has but a short time to live. Like a flower, he blossoms and then withers, like a shadow he flees and never stays. In the midst of life we are in death. To whom can we turn for help but to you, Lord, who are justly angered by our sins. Lord God, holy and mighty, holy and immortal, holy and most merciful Savior, deliver us from the bitter pains of eternal death. You know the secrets of our hearts. In your mercy hear our prayer. Forgive us our sins. And at our last hour, let us never fall away from you. Ensure and certain hope of the resurrection to eternal life through our Lord Jesus Christ. We commend to Almighty God, our brother, joy. And we commit his body to the ground. Okay. Earth to earth.
ashes to ashes dust to dust thank you and we beseech you in the infinite goodness to give us grace to live in your dear love and to die in your favor that when your well-beloved son shall come again in judgment both this our brother joy and we ourselves may be found acceptable in your sight grant this for the sake of your son jesus christ our lord the lord be with you almighty god with whom still live the spirit of those who die in the lord and with whom the souls of the faithful are in joy and felicity we give you heartfelt thanks for the good examples of all your servants who haven't finished their course in faith nor find rest and refreshment may we with all who have died in the true faith of your holy name have perfect fulfillment and bliss in the eternal and everlasting glory through jesus christ our lord amen grant O lord to all who are bereaved the spirit of faith and courage that they may have strength to meet the days to come with steadfastness and patience not sorrowing as those without hope but in thankful remembrance of your great goodness and in the joyful expectation of eternal life with those they love and this we ask in the name of jesus christ our lord rest eternal grant unto him O lord the lord bless him and keep him the lord make his face to shine upon him and be gracious to him the Lord lift up his countenance upon him and give him peace. Unto him that is able to keep us from falling and to present us faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy to the only wise God our Savior be glory and majesty dominion and power both now and forevermore Amen. our final hymn God sent his son you go that way first Yes. You want to follow? Huh? You want to follow? Sure. Santa Son. been fulfilled my own eyes have seen the salvation 
which you have prepared in the sight of every people a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning is now and shall be forever Amen